Today, enough grant money will be awarded to Chetwin to cover more than 10% of our estimated 10-year infrastructure deficit. Today shows the commitment that Chetwin has to providing services to our citizens and the commitment that our provincial and federal governments have in providing the assistance needed to do so. I don't think I can put into words what being awarded this clean water and wastewater grant for Chetwin's water treatment plant means to us. This has been a priority project for only a short while, but obviously a project like this can't wait for long. The cost was far higher than originally anticipated, and without this grant, let's just say there wasn't really a plan B as of right now. It's a pleasure to be here with all of you in Chetland and uh, with uh, MLA Bernier on this great announcement. $1.5 million federally uh, is the contribution, but in all honesty, as you know, it's taxpayer money. So I would, I would rather phrase it as we're leaving the money in Chetwind as opposed to returning it, but uh, so be it. No, Chetwind has really impressed me. Just, uh, I think the first meeting when I was an MP, there was a snowstorm and uh, uh, Mayor and Council had actually made the trip through the storm to come talk to me about a, a particular infrastructure project. Drove all the way through the pass to Prince George and to me it really just showed and really the people of Chatwin should understand that you have a great council and mayor that are willing to put in the time and effort to to secure these funds so uh, congratulations I know Chatwin has done a great job already planning for the future and this is just more of that planning for the future of Chatwin and for the long-term future and again it doesn't get any more infrastructure than water and, uh, and pipes and that's what you're doing today with this money and, and as Bob said you know we've got about collectively between uh, the two levels of government adding to yours or so we're adding in about two and a half million dollars about just over a million dollars from the provincial government but really what it comes down to is again is acknowledging that I think it's an important project but more importantly it shows the relationship between all three levels of government to make sure when there's infrastructure needs that we can actually sit down have those discussions and make sure that we can put funds forward uh, to help obviously this is something uh, Chetwin has been working on for for a long time so I know Bob and I are very honored to be able to do our minor parts uh, because really it's you and your staff who have done all of the the great work to to not only keep your system going but to recognize where the challenges and stresses are and look for opportunities to represent your citizens and do what's needed to be done to to help the people in your area obviously uh, clean drinking water is is paramount number one in order to, in order to have a sustainable community um, as we heard earlier, District Council has approved a 10-year infrastructure renewal plan. This is year one. This is a pretty good start. Um, our current water treatment plant is near the end of its life. The new water treatment plant will immediately increase our capacity by 30%. Should the population and demand increase, it can easily be expanded as well. The technology we have chosen is capable of treating both our river and well water together. And we're all very excited and proud of this ultimate accomplishment. Our community can rely on clean, safe drinking water for decades to come. So really pleased today to announce provincially that we're going to contribute uh, just over $1.3 million to repave the uh, runway here in Chetwind. And I know it's something that's going to help not only for safety, but as you said, for me, one of the big aspects of making sure we have our airports in the Peace Region in all of our communities that have them is making sure that that access is when it's needed. When you talk about air ambulance, when you talk about you know the crucial uh, opportunities that sometimes we have to worry about the time savings and to have that runway is really important. And I know I've actually flown in, believe it or not, a few times uh, into the Chetwin Airport. Not today, I drove, I didn't fly. Um, but the airport's actually uh, served my colleagues, it served government, it served business. I've talked with a lot of the businesses in the area who say how important uh, the airport is, is for them as well, for flying in staff. And I also know in, in the unfortunate circumstance, whenever we have an emergency in the, in the area, whether it's flooding or forest fires, uh, that we require to, the airport to be operational to bring people in and out.